Alright everyone, so picture this. It's about a week or two before Christmas and the whole house is quiet. You're sitting next to the Christmas tree with the lights on and the fireplace is going. You're cozied up in your fluffy little pajamas and you're wrapped up in a nice warm blanket on a nice cold frozen December night. And you got hot chocolate and cookies to warm you up and you're watching your favorite movie, show, or creator on YouTube. This, what I described to you, was one of my favorite memories that to this day still has not been surpassed by any other holiday memory. See, the thing is, I love Christmas and I love the holiday cheer that it brings, but there's a problem with Christmas. It is right next to literally one of the worst holidays ever created, which is about what you're going to, or hopefully complete, the next year. And it's a bit controversial also because not everyone celebrates Christmas the same way. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my absolute hatred for Christmas. And to start, this is mostly because the build up to Christmas is way better than the actual holiday. Now before you click off, let me tell you something. Now look, I get it. It's full of gifts, it's full of food, family members, and games, and fun, and the like. But after that one holiday, you get hit with the post-Christmas clarity, and you really realize that the hype is over, and New Year's is next, which means that you're one year closer to death, and that you didn't do anything that you planned on achieving one year ago with that dumb list. And look, the buildup is so much better. I mean, come on, it has the hype. You have more friends and family that are in town and closer, stuff is on sale, and you even have something to look forward to. And plus, it's the festive season, what's not to like? I mean, come on. But after Christmas, the day after, I mean like literally the second after, you are expected to take all the holiday decor down, put up all the food, clean up, put away the Christmas sweaters, and you have to pretend that you are actually happy with the gifts your geriatric mother gave you when you asked for AirPods and she freaking got you oxygen shells, my god. But the thing is, with Christmas being over, you don't have anything to look forward to, and plus, you have to wait like a whole nother year before everyone's all happy and go lucky and everyone gives and receives a little haha or a little hee hee to lighten the mood. I'm not saying it's the worst, but there definitely are better holidays like Halloween. The whole month of October is literally just hype, even the day itself. There's parties, the weather is right and not too hot or too cold. You get even more holiday cheer because you still have more holidays to look forward to, like Thanksgiving or Christmas. And you also get an excuse to cosplay as your favorite anime character because you want to be like them one day and you have no sense of identity. Right guys? Right? No? Just me. Okay. Well, tonight I'll actually have a reason to cry myself to sleep. And look, I'm also not saying Thanksgiving is the best, alright? In my opinion, Thanksgiving is second because the build up to Christmas is coming up. The whole point of Thanksgiving is to build up to Christmas. No one actually thinks of it as its own holiday. I mean, come on. Turkey may be a bit dry, but who cares? You still got time to complete your inevitable doomed to fail New Year's plans from last year. I mean, but all of this aside, I would definitely say Christmas is definitely a great holiday for spreading love and cheer and all that good stuff. But it can also remind you that you are one year closer to death and I love Christmas. Christmas is great. It's a great holiday for spreading love and cheer to everyone. You know, it can bring happiness to everyone's lives. I mean, I know that brings happiness to my life. But it can also remind you that you are one year closer to death and that no matter what, after you get or give some gifts, you still feel empty inside because you still don't have a girlfriend and your friends are moving on without you and you don't know what to do with your life and you don't know what to do for college and you also are, but to be for real guys, I'm just gonna go off script for a second. I'll definitely say Christmas is definitely one of the more notable holidays I think everyone likes, but I will also say it definitely has its drawbacks and I would even argue that the build up to Christmas is definitely way better than the actual holiday. And I can't get too emotional right now because it's all quiet, it's 2 a.m. and everyone's asleep. Sleep. But let me know if you guys agree. Anyways, all right. Oh wait, hold up. You thought it was the end of the video? No, no, it's not the end of the video. I actually got more content for you now since I'm energized and it's day two of editing and I'm deciding to extend the video. So thank you, thank you for the support. I know, I know, I'm the best content creator there is. Woohoo! Thank you. I am a god compared to everyone. No, but not seriously. Anyways, Christmas. To me, it's just a one and done holiday. After Christmas, you got New Year's to worry about, and then you also have to worry about what the heck you're going to do for your New Year's resolution, and then you get trapped into an abomination of lists that you know you're not gonna achieve, but you still try to anyway, just to feel something and say that you did, right? Just to say that your parents can be proud of you once and for all. Am I right or am I right, guys? <laughs> no, but in all actuality, your New Year's plans suck. 
all right let me tell you why to start you guys put the most basic and you guys put the most basic stuff and you expect to achieve all that stuff by like the second week of january in hopes that you have bragging rights to all your other friends and family and then you can finally get the attention that you so deserved after being alone for like literally all your life but i'm gonna tell you this ain't it chief listen if you want your new year's resolution to actually stick you gotta make it a bit broad and you don't have to make it like an actual like goal goal like like a specific goal that you achieve on a certain day because then at that point you're just setting yourself up for failure rather what i would say is i would make it more like a theme you know more like a little sparkling thing like what i'm gonna go ahead and put is i'm gonna go and put up my new year's resolution so then you guys can see what i'm wanting to do and um this is something that i'm wanting to do over the next year so i'm hoping that i'll achieve it and thing is you gotta make it personal to you as well you can't just see chad from high school post that he just won a thousand dollars in crypto and you want to be like oh i just want to be like him for real no no that's not it that's beta guys beta you got to make a list that you actually want to work on it has to be personal and only to you and it has to be kind of of a low bar now no, blah, 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 blah. now hold up now isn't a low bar actually bad guac you're just not achieving your high goals and that's bad that's beta for real okay shut up let me explain i'm not saying you have to be degenerate and set the bar so low that it basically is just come home with the milk from the store like the thing your dad never did all i'm saying is that if you like if you say something like oh i'm gonna develop more confidence and be emotionally stable this year that's like literally a lot better than most new year's resolutions by far saying these things can help you much can help make you much more aware of what you actually want to do like for me i know i want to spend less than 500 dollars on pokimane and amaranth tier 3 subscriptions and donos in hopes that my queen will notice me one day so if i just make my goal to spend like literally less money and dedicate that money towards something like i don't know like maybe a haircut or some shoes or maybe like a book even might i say then literally you're far better off than most people's resolutions and this is because most people say like oh i don't want to spend any money on pokimane or amarin subs and i'm going to quit by january 1st yeah all right pal so did half the other twitch temps on november 1st saying that they wouldn't nut and you saw what happened, okay, pal? I'm just saying that if you put an ultimatum on your goals, you're not really going to achieve it. And by this logic, you are literally setting such a high expectation from yourself that you literally make it like a final exam almost, and it's gonna like set yourself up for failure. You make it a big deal more than it actually should, my God. A New Year's resolution should be for the new year. It literally should not be a one month experiment or attempt, you know? Like, my God, like you literally have the rest of the year to slow down and make changes and develop over time. You don't have to place so much pressure on yourself and give yourself one month to make it to the moon and back my god and also i don't want you to get burnt out and say and like let's say you do mess up big deal who cares you still have the rest of the freaking year to achieve whatever it is you freaking want to do or whatever it is you want and see that's the thing about what i'm saying is that if you put your resolution into more of a theme than a specific goal it's more malleable to change and it won't feel like you fail or whatever or won't fail as bad like for example my mom keeps telling me to go outside and touch with grass and meet a woman i don't have to do all that by tomorrow or by january 1st all, all i could do is just simply look at pictures of grass and maybe think about talking to a real woman and that's it you know it could be a slow process where over time not immediate you know you just change e like in which even the slow time slow over time method is much more satisfying than an immediate reward you know was that grass analogy good I'm thinking it was good okay it wasn't a good analogy but you know what i'm trying to say I'm trying to say that the end of the year is coming close and that it does not have to seem so bad as you may think. I don't think that, I, I don't think of the end of the year as, as a bad thing, as like the end of something. I think of it as more or less like a new beginning. You guys should do the same, honestly. Anyways, this has been Therapy with Guac. That'll be $50. Go ahead and insert your card and click debit or credit. Go ahead, pay for it. This isn't free. This isn't free content. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. All right, but for real though, this is actually the end, and I want you guys to enjoy your holidays. Um, obviously, I'm still going to upload more for my subscribers and my fans. Like, obviously, I'm gonna upload more in a few days or two. But for everyone else, if you're a first time watcher, uh, and if you want to become an absolute giga chad like me and my fans, go ahead and click subscribe. It's down below. Go ahead. You're gonna go ahead and join the Guac Civilization. We're going to pioneer the best content on YouTube. Just give me like a few months or so before I get to the top. But I will get to the top someday. Also, let me know what you guys think about this video should i do a longer video or should i stick to shorter videos should i stick to commentary or should i do joke videos i don't know what i should do anyways all right i'll see you guys in the next one and uh i'll catch you later bye bye now the main problem area is up here
all of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. It's like a visceral reaction of discontent coming from this area. This area is not good either. I hate this, but I'm mainly worried about this.